Hello guys, it's James here and welcome here to another video. Now, all my season videos, the season review, awards, season compilation and game by game video for the 2016-17 uh, season have all been uploaded now. I'll leave a link in the description to all those videos. Um, I did a total of 63 match views for last season as well. I'll leave a link in the description for any of them if you want to go back and watch any of them for any reason. Uh, but today we're going to crack into uh, transfers because, uh, as you may know, that the transfer window for the summer has now opened for the 2017-2018 season. And we have been... Um, uh, Manchester United have confirmed the signing of one Manchester United player now, and that is Victor Lindelof. Manchester United have completed the signing of Swedish international Victor Lindelof, who has joined Manchester United for a reported fee of 30.7 million. Uh, that's what we believe, but that's what's been circulating in the reports recently, um, and that's what they came out with the other week saying that they've agreed the fee, which was 30.7 million. So it looks like it's 30.7 million pounds for this Victor Lindelof, which, in my opinion, is quite a good price. Very in mind his age bearing in mind he's a Swedish international and bearing in mind there were other clubs lurking around for him now I'll give you a little bit of information about who Victor Lindelof is Victor Lindelof is a Swedish international as I said earlier um, he's obviously a teammate of Zlatan Ibrahimovic before he retired from the Sweden national team he uh, currently plays well he did play for Benfica the Portuguese side and he helped them to win in the league last season um, he's currently only 22 years of age and that's why I'm saying he's such a young centre-back just like Bai. So we've got two bright, really good young centre-backs now who could really enforce Manchester United into a good, maybe even a decade of good defending maybe, solid hands maybe. But like, from what I've seen he looks like a good player. Um, Manchester United were interested in signing Lindelof in January um, and it looked like that could potentially have happened in January. The deal looked like it was happening in January. However, Manchester United won nine games in um, nine matches um, around December, January. Um, we had defenders who were injured coming back into the team. So Mourinho decided to pursue it in the summer, which he has done. And actually, as we say now, he has been confirmed as a Manchester United player. So the first summer signing this year um, is Victor Lindelof. Now he is six foot two. Um, but yeah, that's all the stats, sort of what you need to know about him. We're now going to be talking about what I think about the transfer. So first of all, I think he is technically a composed uh, defender who he's just really confident on the ball. He's very composed on the ball. He is a ball playing centre back. That is what he is. That's what he specialises in. If you're talking about by, I mean, I think sometimes he's composed, yes, but I think sometimes he can also flare up a little bit, look at the Celta Vigo second leg. I do think that actually Lindelof is a superb compatriot for Eric Bailly and I think they will form a really good partnership with Bailly and Lindelof and I think that, that is something which will really excite me next season. I mean, as I said, I think Bailly is physically, uh, mentally uh, strong, stable at the back. I think he is a really, really good player to have. Lindelof is sort of like the opposite he's very good at ball playing you know he's tall um he's not the strongest of players maybe i think that's fair to say but he is definitely very good he's quite quick he's good on the ball and i think that's what you need is you need two center backs who can sort of make up for the other's weaknesses and one makes up for the other one's strength if that makes sense and I think he would do a form a really good partnership with Eric Bailly and that's definitely going to be our centre-back pair in next season um, and he was one of the three centre-backs Manchester United were lining up to sign this summer the other one was Eric, um, not Eric Bailly um, Virgil van Dijk who obviously uh, well looked like he was going to join Liverpool but it doesn't look like that's happening anymore and the other one was Michael Keane which I'm sort of a little bit pleased not to say I'll sign him because I do think he's only had one good season at Burnley and suddenly United want to bring him back no so I'm sort of happy we've got Victor Lindelof I, um, I mean if I'm going to be honest with you I didn't know too much about him when we heard when we had the rumours flying around in January about him um, but then when we were linked a game to him this summer I've been watching a couple of Sweden games um, in which he's played him recently and yeah no I've been I've been trying to find out as much as I can about Lindelof um, I'm not going to say he's the next Rio Ferdinand or Vidic like some people are saying but I'm going to tell you he does look like a good player he's got all the attributes that Manchester United needed in a centre back so yeah Manchester United have confirmed the first signing of the summer is Victor Lindelof who has joined Manchester United from Benfica for a fee believed to be 30.7 million thank you for watching this video and I'll see you later goodbye